Welcome to Home from Five Senses Academy, and I would like to welcome you. I am not an alien. I know that's what you guys are thinking. I'm always talking about keep the children off electronics, do this puzzle, or make Play-Doh, or make slime, or make this or that with the children. And you're like, who has time for all of that? And you're thinking that I must have no life and all I do is just cater to the children, which I do as my day job. But I am human. I am human, I promise you. I do get how busy life is. I get that you have other things to do, places to go, people to see. I get it. So I'm always thinking good, better, best. It doesn't mean that good is bad. It's just not as good as best, right? So I'm always trying to encourage everyone to do the best, especially when it comes to children. But I get it. You have lives, busy lives. Things are pulling at you from every different direction. And sometimes you have to hand a child an iPad or a phone or the computer or a laptop, whatever it is, to get yourself together, to compose yourself, to have a minute. I know that happens, and I know it's something that sometimes you can't help. I'm just trying to encourage everyone out there to not make it a consistent habit, not make it something that we're always doing because it's not the best practice. So, having said that, I'm acknowledging that parents all over need to sometimes allow their children to use some sort of electronic device to keep them composed, keep them at bay, depending where, where they are, I do get it. If you are pressed and if you really need to use electronics, let's talk about what's going on right now on the internet. Let's talk about YouTube a little bit. Have you ever been looking for a specific video and clicked on something thinking it was going to be about something totally different only to find out you fell for a clickbait? Has that ever happened to you? As annoying as that is, we move on chalk it up to experience and do better looking for our videos next time, right? But what about when they're targeting your child? What if they're messing with our children and we're not even realizing it? We're not paying attention enough or we're not wise to what it is that they're doing. We're ignorant to the fact that they're attacking our children right before our very eyes. So here's the deal. So all of last year, 2017, there were so many news articles about things like Elsa Gate. So let me backtrack just in case you don't know what I'm talking about. What some wonderful, not so much, people out there have done. They've created replicas of the cartoons that your children love so much to make it look like Peppa Pig. And when your child clicks on it, all of a sudden, Peppa Pig is doing something sexual or immoral or hurtful or harmful or just plain disturbing. I'm going to tell you some of the characters that's been Rick. I'm going to read them off to you. Peppa Pig, Elsa from Frozen, you know everyone loves Elsa. Cookie Monster, um, Thomas the Tank Engine, Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Those are just a few of them. So, um, you know, originally I thought, oh, let's just go back to the old school Mickey, the classics, right? No, the classics have also been tainted. And just in case you're not aware, let me share with you a few of the things that they've been doing with these characters. So the examples that I'm going to use were found in the news just a few months ago in uh, 2017. This article is from December 8th of 2017, so just about a month, two months ago. In the middle of this article, it says, Creators were drawing children in with familiar characters, most notably Elsa from Frozen, but also Spider-Man and the Joker, then arranging them in bizarre situations involving cheating spouses. It says that this gamer didn't know who was responsible, but he knew something was wrong. This next article, I don't really remember where I got it. This is one I had saved last year, and it's a dangerous phenomenon on YouTube. And it's this lady who's explaining how she sat next to her son, watched videos on YouTube, noticed something strange come up with a, a pregnant woman, and she noticed what was going on was very age inappropriate. She took the iPad away and started watching for herself and realized this isn't right. As she did a more, bit more research, she realized there were tens and thousands of videos targeted towards children with all types of inappropriate content. There was one with, that was a 3 a.m. challenge where um, they were getting up and looking for ghosts in the middle of the night. Um, so your child's not sleeping in the middle of the night, and you're wondering why. Because they watched a video today that they thought it was a friendly, nice cartoon, and they're talking about ghosts in the middle of the house. 
doing whatever goes to do. And your three-year-old, four-year-old, five-year-old just watched this and now he can't sleep. Things like wetting his bed can happen again, panics, screams, nightmares. These things are being caused by videos that children are watching. Now granted, these are not the only things causing the night terrors and things like that, but this is something we can prevent and we have to be aware of. I couldn't possibly give you all the examples of all the disturbing, sexual, immoral, nasty, unpredictable, and inappropriate, unacceptable things that's happening on YouTube for children. And obviously YouTube is a great place, a great um, source for us. Here we are here on YouTube, but as a parent, it becomes your responsibility, I'm sorry, to make sure you are very, very aware of what your child is watching. Just because it's a picture of Peppa Pig doesn't mean that it's really Peppa Pig. and doesn't really mean that it's created by the creators of Peppa Pig. Just because it's Mickey Mouse doesn't mean it's all sweet and innocent. So you can't just click it and let your child watch. And you can't just let your child click on whatever they want. Now, of course, I'm sure most of you know this, you have to put your YouTube on restricted mode for your child. But remember that no filter is 100%, right? So you have to be, we have to be the filter for our children. Pass information like this around, share with friends and family, and especially sharing with people who take care of our children. Our ch if my child's going over to your house for a sleepover or whatever it is, I wanna make sure that you're also aware that not everything on YouTube is safe. And so that's how we have to start looking out and making sure that our children are safe. Let's protect them from all this craziness that's going on. I know we're busy, but we've gotta make time to make sure that what our children is watching is safe. Or you could just take some ideas for some of my other videos and just give them some paper, some pencils, an activity kit, or a book, read, story time, books on tape. There are a lot of things that you can do with for your child and some things they could even do by themselves instead of watching YouTube videos. If you're not able to watch their video ahead of time or be certain it's um, the channel is safe, it's better you just don't allow your child to watch it. Thank you so much for coming along. I know this video was kind of crazy but um i just had a lot on my mind and i just wanted to share with you subscribe please like share let's keep this information moving and let's chat tomorrow